<laughs> Do these ladies appear healthy? Let's take a closer look. No, no, no. They are not healthy. One of them has carpal manau. My heart, my heart. Oh, doctor, doctor, this looks like a carpal manau. Doctor, what is carpal manau? Well, corpal manau is an enlargement of the heart's right ventricle. <laughs> <laughs> well, copalmonel is an enlargement of the heart right ventricle due to disease of the lungs or pulmonary vascular system. Doctor, what is the clinical manifestations of corpulmonel? Some are bluish color to the skin, distension of the neck veins, indicating high right heart pressures, abnormal fluid collection in the abs, enlargement of the liver, edema of the ankles, and abnormal heart sounds, of course. Doctor, what are the symptoms? Generally, there are no specific. Symptoms usually include chronic cough, shortness of breath on exertion, fatigue, and other signs of lack of oxygen to the body tissues. Two men walking by the ocean on a sunny day in Seattle. Do they appear healthy? Basically, in the pulmonary circulation, when systolic pressure exceeds 30 mm in mercury and mean arterial pressure is greater than 20 mm in mercury. Now, doctor, how does this happen? I heard there are two kinds. Yes, primary and secondary. Secondary is a result. <laughs> secondary is a result of another disease. The cause of primary pulmonary hypertension is unknown. So, how do you know if you have it, huh? Well, signs and, and symptoms are usually those of the underlying disease. If caused by cardiac issues, the patient will pre present with cardiac symptoms. Common symptoms are exertional fatigue, chest pain, weakness, and syncope. Physical examination may show heart murmurs, high-pitched diastolic murmur in pulmonic in <laughs> and peripheral edema. <laughs> Let me say it again. Physical examination may show heart murmurs, high pitched diastolic murmur in pulmonic valve and peripheral edema. I think he may have pulmonary edema. So, tell me doctor, what is pulmonary edema? The fact is, there are two classes of pulmonary edema, cardiogenic and non-cardiogenic. What is the difference? Cardiogenic is due to increased capillary pressure. 
Non-cardiogenic is due to increased capillary permeability. Doctor, can you tell me who gets it, please? Most patients have a history of recurrent symptoms of heart failure, but there is also acute pulmonary edema, and this requires aggressive treatment. How about this family here? Do they look healthy? Let's take a closer look. No, 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 no. They are not healthy. One of them has pulmonary embolism and one of them has pulmonary fat embolism. A pulmonary embolism is a blood clot formation due to heart diseases and lack of movement after surgery. Some patients have a pulmonary fat embolism from bone fracture. Fat particles enter blood through a disrupted vein. There is a test like an ABG to find out the lunger condition. Patients who have an embolism usually show a low PO2 and the PCO2. Uh, X-rays help to find the location and extent of embolism. Other tests are Doppler ultrasound, EKG, MRI, and CAT scan. A Doctor, what are the symptoms? Dyspnea and heart pain for pulmonary embolism. Uh, patients who have a pulmonary fat embolism will have odds usually 24 to 48 hours after bone injury. And they may have a fever, a dyspnea, and a cyanosis. Doctor, how do we manage the disease? A prevention is the most important thing. Prevention is the most important thing. Medical therapy is also used anticoagulant, heparin for pulmonary embolism and a larger dose of corticosteroids for fat embolism work very well. Well, copper mail is an enlargement of... <laughs> there is a test like an ABG to find out the lung condition. Patients who have embolism uh, usually show low PO2 and PSCO2. I can't move. Well, copper mail is an enlargement of the heart's right ventricle due to disease of the lungs. <laughs> Sorry. <clears throat> Prevention is the most important thing. Yes, a pulmonary embolism is a blood clot formation due to heart diseases and lack of movement after surgery. Some patients have a pulmonary fat embolism from a bone fracture. Fat particles. <laughs> Bone fracture, fat particles. <laughs> uh, this looks like a pulmonary hypertension. My heart, my heart. Uh, doctor, doctor, this looks like a corpo now. No, 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 no. One of them is not healthy. One has... Oh, I messed up on that one. <laughs> oh, you did it right. They are not... No, no, no. They are not healthy. One of them has carpal manau. No, 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 no. They are not healthy. One of them has pulmonary hypertension. No, 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 no. They are not healthy. One of them has pulmonary embolism and 
One of them has pulmonary fat embolism. No, 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 no. They are not healthy. One of them has pulmonary edema. Oh I shit, wait a minute. No. Something fucked up. I think wrong with the camera. What is going on? I think he may have pulmonary edema.